Today, I'm going to show you how to restore your iPhone with iTunes. Yes, you can do it even without iTunes and with your phone only, but it will not delete all the corrupted files and all the fundamental data that causes all the problems and all the lagging on your iPhone before. So restoration with iTunes is way more suggested. But please keep it in mind that this tutorial has a lot of tips and tricks that you want to make sure to follow them all. So without any further ado, let's get this job done. So before you start, there are multiple important steps to take to have a safe iPhone restoration. Back up your data with iTunes app so you won't lose any important files. If you have any Google Authenticator keys on your iPhone, make sure to back up them. Lastly and most importantly, make sure that the Find My iPhone on your iCloud is disabled and write down your Apple ID credentials as you're going to need them later to restore some of your data. Now let's get into the big boss. iPhone's raw operating system files are in IPSW and you need these files to be able to restore your iPhone. And the biggest source to download them is a website called IP. PSW.me with more than 10 years on a scene. Just get into their website, select your iPhone's model, and download the latest IPSW file, and that's it. So assuming you already have the iTunes and you have already backed up your whole iPhone, you want to go on and turn off your mobile. And after 10 seconds of sweet, deep breathing session, you just need to go on and turn on your mobile device once again, but this time a little different. The tricky part is that one of the side volume buttons should be pressed down simultaneously with the power button for around 15 seconds to enter DFU mode. And well done, here you got it. There's nothing harmful to the device. DFU mode is abbreviated for the device framework update and it just puts the device on a stage to update itself. So at this point, you need to open iTunes on your PC and your phone will be displayed on the screen. You just need to hover the mouse on the restore button and click on it while pressing down the shift key. It will ask you for the IPSW file, just select it and it will give you the final warning that all the data is going to be removed. Just press restore and we're all good. The iPhone restoration might even take up to 15 minutes, but you can monitor all the process on your iTunes and the PC or even your iPhone. And also please be cautious not to mess with the cable as any disruption will result in failure in this whole process. Congrats to y'all beautiful people on your brand new iPhone just like you picked it up from the Apple store for the first time. So please like this video, subscribe, and catch you in the next one.